To talk to us more about the expected bulk of vaccine supply coming, we have with us on the line Health Secretary Francisco Duque. Uh, Secretary Duque, welcome po to the big story. Hi, good evening, uh, Robbie and uh, Gretchen, and to all your uh, viewers. Magandang gabi po sa ngalan ng Department of Health. Uh, magandang gabi po. We are expecting more vaccine supply to come. In the meantime, even without that supply coming in, we are already in the middle of rolling out for A4. Malaking-malaking sector po. 35 million. Kamusta po ang rollout sa, sa A4 given that the supply right now is where we are? Well, uh, the NCR plus 8 is going to be the uh, priority, no? That's about uh, 13 million uh, people or vaccinees, no? And then the outside of NCR Plus, that's uh, 22.5 million for a total of 35 million. So where we are now, we uh, still don't have sufficient uh, vaccines. Kulang pa po ito. Mm. Meron tayo sa ngayon, uh, more or less, baka mga 10 million. Eh, ang uh, atin uh, A2 pa lang, ang uh, senior citizens na binibigyan natin ng uh, prioridad, mga 18 million kaagad yan ano, mm. for the first dose. Mm. At yung atin A3, individuals with uh, comorbidities, ito naman ang overlap with A4. So this is what I consider the quasi-A4, de facto A4, ang uh, A3. Kasi ito yung mga bata naman na may mga comorbidities and at the height of their productivity. Okay. And they very well constitute the A4 category. Mm. There are about 5 million of them. Okay. Now, in the meantime, kahit po hindi natin kinakalimutan ng lahat ng region, we do know that the bulk of the supply for vaccines are still largely in Metro Manila. But we're also noting a spike and a surge in many parts of the country. Davao, for one, is seeing a surge. Are we expecting a recalculation or a reconfiguration of how vaccines will be distributed? You know, we have always been agile. Kung saan meron talaga mga spikes, then we uh, do a uh, shift in some of uh, our stocks. No? But by and large, tayo naman kasi, we are also guided by our metric. Ang metric namin yan, uh, one of which is yung uh, days to last ng stock. Because we've noticed that in some uh, LGUs, no, yung stock nila ng vaccine, ang haba-haba, some 40 days, 35 days, and so this is an indication na hindi uh, hindi nagpupursige ang uh, bakunahan dun sa mga lugar na yon. Whereas there are some LGUs less than 5 days ang stock level nila. Yun, nagre-replace tayo kaagad. So binabalanse natin ito but one of the major priorities is really where the spikes are. So we add more vaccines to where they're needed. Okay, Secretary uh, Francisco Duque, maraming salamat po.